Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Hyperion Blue GT and it's time for another high speed custom race challenge on GT Sport for only one round. So, looks like it's finally finishing up for this library design and it's all set and ready to go. So today, I'll be able to use the Mazda RX500 1970 because this is definitely excellent for a, a classic retro rotary supercar will be able to drive faster to give it a good straight board. So, Looks like everything is going to be quite prepped up and be prepared for it. So this will be make sure because this will be able to add up with a much better adjustment to be reached up on on the power ratio added by 50%. So looks like the right height is definitely able to give a good downforce position. It's going to be quite very good for it. So it is definitely reduced to make it less to be able to get closer for it. So it'll be able to improve the speed rate for it. And also the transmission gear is definitely customizable with a different gear ratio to will be able to get a good improvements to be able to have different numbers to be able to show by big gears will be able to help out for it. So only make sure that the final gear is going to be at 4.100 is going to be able to have a one efficient improvement will be able to help out for it. So let's begin and then this will be able to have a two lap challenge to be able to go there. So I hope this is going to be able to challenging one of the Super GT 500 race cars will be able to go again for it. So this time I'll be able to choose the morning condition is going to be quite excellent simple for it. So good thing that this is going to be able to have a one ordinary lap race to be able to go there for it. But luckily this is going to be able to get a one easy step closer to be able to pace hard and pace closer to be able to get some extra draft mod boards. So make sure that this will be able to have a group 2 category will be able to get started for this race. So this will be able to get ready for a challenge because it looks like getting the old dog will be able to get some more horsepower to speed up with some better improvements to be able to drive faster and drive closer to have what it takes. So looks like it's always having a little experiment test on any other cars and also to get a good draft will be able to have efficient improvements during the custom race sports. So maybe perhaps that this will be quite giving a helpful for it. So that will might make it better for it. So looks like racing on Route X again and then this will have to get started to be able to get prepared for it. Because looks like this will find out soon. So it looks like it's going to be on a green light for go and then this will be able to climb faster to be able to speed up for it without the turbo charge for this car. So looks like it's not an exploration vehicle will be able to get a good part on it. So let's see what happens if this will be able to reach the fifth gear. So looks like this is going to be able to get a close on for it because this is going to be quite very easy to be able to have a lot of hard work to be able to get it done for. But this will have to find out soon until this will also to reach up over to 200 miles until this will be able to get a close on for it. So this is definitely quite giving a one more reminder tip for it. Just going to have to use the right height to be able to adjust it on the low chance position to be able to get a better chance on the nice view for it. Now, looks like this is going to be able to come closer, so looks like might be able to switch on to the city to get a good look on this board. So, well, still taking on the straight effect, we can really get closer for it. Okay, so it looks like it's going on the upper, on the road, so it's going to be able to come closer for it. Now, looks like this is going to be able to get a one to half closer, just to make one good overtake to be prepared for it. So, looks like this is going to be able to have a 160 top speed limit, it's going to be over at 205 miles. Whenever it's going to be speeding up so much, it can be able to slow down and then respond again. So, looks like this is going to be able to have a one trap to be on the first, because the world might be able to help out to be able to stay on the outside run distance for it besides strapping if you really want to get a little chance on. Alright, very good. So looks like taking a two minute process to be able to have a one good run to be able to get in for it. 
card looks like, which is going to be able to have a 2 minutes and 8 seconds. So that was definitely a fine well done for this Rotary Classic Sports car to be able to drive faster for it. But pretty good to be able to use the RX500 to one of the parts in the P6 intro. Because it looks like it drives pretty good, but pretty strongly to be able to have a fast performance to be able to stay on the train, to be able to go on and having a much better mile train and this year's distance to be able to go. So, it looks like gap distance are about to be increasing in by two as we're taking a long distance to be able to come up for it. So that was pretty impressive for having a rotary classic sports car to be able to drive in for it. So it might be quite very good to just in for it. So this will go on the next train to straight distance to be able to climb up for it. Now, looks like this is going to be able to get a little bit chance on for it because this is going to be another attempt to experiment best to be able to show this RX 500. So, well, I'm always definitely giving a little bit surprising about any other C car to be able to have some better improvements for it. So, this is definitely quite very good to have the RX 500 with a Route X library variant. So, this is definitely might be more creative to be able to represent the track. So, looks like this is going to be able to stay on the main line focus because this is going to be able to get excellent to be able to check on it. So, looks like gap distance is still, still definitely increasing because it takes a lot of good runs to be able to catch up much better for it. So, it might be quite very good for this rotary car to be able to drive faster to be able to get extra time to run for only two minutes. So two minutes for having a one straight run might be getting a little helpful to be able to drive it in to start from last place and then catch us up into first place. We'll be able to get everything shortly to be fast as noticed. So looks like coming in for it, just gonna have a one straight tunnel line to be able to go for it and then this will make one step distance to be able to go in and make its way to the next final lap for it. Well, this will be able to have a helpful way to be able to get the little method to be able to stack up some flying credits faster for having a clean race bonus to be able to achieve more. Now, looks like this is going to be able to get a little bit to stay focused on the main line to be able to come closer. 10,000 meters is definitely going on the worst way. closer. Excellent, stay on it. This might be able to get a good far distance away from the CPC 500, which might be able to have some small runs to be able to catch up for it. So, looks like this is a pretty good rotary sports car to be able to drive faster with a good RPM range to be at the fifth gear to be much very closer. So, this is going to be very good for a drag race to be able to be a main course. Now, here we go. Final lap is going to be on its way. Because I hope this is going to be very worked up for having a one lap for any other stadium classic cars to be able to go in foot and this is going to be quite excellent to be able to have one experimental test to be able to see this will be quite very good for a drag race to be able to show for. So looks like coming up on the upper hill, the make its way to be coming down ramp hill to be able to come to the and with a little steep climb up for it. Now, it looks like it's going to be able to see the group back on the 180 mile train to be able to come closer for it. Just like having a nice roller coaster to be able to break itself. Right. 
Nihilus is about to get climbed up, and then this will reaches up onto 200. Because this is going to be excellent to see how the RX 500 can also drive back on the downhill. It's going to be much easier to be potential for it. Okay, so it looks like it's definitely going to be easier to back on in 200 mile range. It's going to stay on there until it drops down by only one mile down. It looks like back on is coming 99. Hmm. So this is definitely quite a frequent for the course. Some say that car resistors can also might be a little tune up to be able to get an extra adjustment to be able to have a point of protection. So it looks like this is going to be able to have frequent science to be able to Drive on route X and be able to get C and be able to drive on an A and be on 200 miles. Well, I'm kind of thinking it might be the same course, but I'm just enjoying for this race because I just really want to accept that any kind of vehicles will be able to use for a fine tune-up so the transmission group will be able to get a good adjustment. like this is going to be able to get a good sloping on for the gap distance is going to be able to take a good creepy look on it. So, looks like this is going to be so close. Only four second gaps left to go and then this will be able to make it into 10 seconds. So, this will be currently now at six second gaps because this will be able to study and analyze on the Monster RX 500 because its performance is definitely quite getting a good improvement to be able to race it on the big JM track because this might be going to be able to have a wonderful help to race to be able to have any kind of standard JM cars and any other class of vehicles to be able to have any good performance so that exactly if the category car category to be able to go and climb up to be able to beat any other class of car Strong performance. So, looks like this is going to be able to have a long swing test which works to be able to have with RX 500 to see the frame, the ball, drag shape, of course. Now, looks like this is going to be coming close, of course. Just going to check on the rear here and see if the engine from the other feet 500 is going to be coming in by only one or three. So stay on it, because this is going to be easy for this race to be able to come close, of course. Because born professional and born as a one experiment driver to test out any improved vehicle to be able to work things in, and then this is going to be able to one fine improvement to be giving a clean check mark on it. So, looks like this will be able to have a segment with a replay on it, so this will be able to work it out be worse for it, because this will be able to have during the gameplay and then small ones will be able to do the replay. So it looks like this is going to be able to have a hard work to be able to get everything done for it. They stay on it, but it's going to be able to get a one to three significant improvement to be able to get a good position on it. Taking one line stretch, and then this is going to be quite excellent, and then race finish and research complete on the RX 500. Because this is an excellent improvement for high speed vehicles to be able to drive faster and drive harder, folks. Because this is going to be excellent to be able to have the RX 500 to be able to have high speed car ready to go. 
and this is going to be able to get everything done for. So, looks like strong earnings might be coming in place for it, and looks like this is going to be easier to be able to have another price credit to be able to stack up faster for it. So, looks like this will be able to save this replay if they will be able to have a replay part to be able to, during the gameplay. So, this is going to be excellent to be able to have the RX500 to join in for a Route X High Speed Challenge to be ready to go. So, looks like this is a very fine N300 car, could be able to drive faster and drive stronger to be able to have a good draft on it. But this is going to be an excellent classic car to be able to have a challenging transmission gear to be well adjusted. So this is definitely a very good car to be able to get a good improvement for it. So maybe for the next custom race with the same track on route that I'm doing this because this will be able to have a route X experiment speed test challenge to see this will be able to get a go for it. So looks like this is definitely a pretty good idea to have any kinds of N300 cars to be able to race on Route X with a high speed performance with tuning as well. Cause this is gonna be an excellent race to be able to get everything stacked up to be able to earn some credits faster to be able to get improved for. Well folks, glad that you really enjoyed this video and I hope you liked this lively. So thanks for watching. So be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe on YouTube and also the link and click the bell for some notifications if you for some upload if you want to see more for it and also the links on the description down below if you want to see it because you're interested for it well i'll continuing on for the next custom race on gt sport and i'll see you guys next time keep on racing stay cool